It is time now for our 12 days of Christmas cookies. Michael's gonna head on over there and open our calendar to see what we're making. What are we making this morning? Ooh. Ooh, vanilla coconut meringue swans? Yes. It's perfect, perfect for this morning. Seven swans, it's a swimming theme. Our pastry chef and author of the new cookbook, Dessert Person, Claire Sappis, joins us with the recipe. This looks delicious. You got to tell us, how do we do it? Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I'm very excited to show you. So meringue cookies are very simple. It's sugar and egg whites. And to this version, we're adding some vanilla bean, some shredded unsweetened coconut, and a little salt. So that's it. Okay, now to get started, you say you have to massage the vanilla into the sugar. What, how do you do that? <laughs> it's really easy. So I'm just working the seeds of the vanilla pod into the granulated sugar, and this releases all of the flavors and aromas ah. of the vanilla. So it perfumes the whole meringue. And it's easy. You just split the vanilla pod lengthwise and use the dull side of a knife to scrape out the seeds. But don't throw away the pod. I always save them and put them in a jar filled with vodka, and I make my own infused vanilla extract. So oh, these are great. Okay. Keep wow. them around. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and so just after work you get that this, mixture in. Yeah, once you get that mixture, you, that mixture together, then you have to add the egg whites. But how do you get Ooh, it to white. be a glossy yes. meringue? Because that is the thing. I like mine glossy. <laughs> yes, we want a glossy, smooth meringue always. So we add the egg whites and a little bit of salt. And the first thing I do is stir the mixture over a double boiler. And that is to encourage the sugar to dissolve because it's by dissolving that sugar that we get an ultra smooth, really stable, glossy meringue always. So this just takes a few minutes with a whisk. I have a little bit of simmering water in this pot. Um, and then once you do that, that mixture gets transferred to a stand mixer and you whip it to firm peaks with the whisk attachment. Then you got to turn it into a swan. Right over here. <laughs> yeah, so then we make our really swan. Good. So you with see? some of the plain really meringue, before I've added the coconut, wow. I have it in a piping bag here with just a little opening snipped. And I am tracing these question mark shapes that I drew on oh. parchment paper and then turned over. And so these are the necks of the swans. So I just start at the base and with my pastry bag make this kind of like a half heart or a little question mark shape. And then once I've done that, I go ahead and I add my dried unsweetened coconut to the, re the remaining meringue that's in the bowl. Then that meringue gets added to another pastry bag with a slightly bigger opening. And now I go ahead and I pipe the bodies of the swans. So these are really like the base of the cookie. And I just give it right at the base of the neck a little kind of sweet mound of that coconut Ooh. meringue. Looks simple enough. It does. So a nice little So Claire. What right, do you not do? too bad. Yeah. Really not too bad. No, not at all. So what do you do to, to decorate them? Right, so these bake in a 275 oven for about 45 minutes. And then we take them out and let them cool. And to really give them some finishing touches for that swan look, I have a little bit of melted dark chocolate. And I use that just to draw a stripe across the face of the swan. And then with some melted white chocolate with a little red and yellow food coloring added to make orange. I just paint it right on with a toothpick onto the beak. And this is really the finishing touch of the swan. And then once that sugar cools and the chocolate sets, you have your gorgeous cool. coconut meringue it's swans. It's so cute. You almost, you almost so bad eating it. It's, it's well, you, <laughs> so you, you saved the head. The sugar, well, all the meringue was all over your, you had to get the, had to hand you a Thank napkin, you Robin. Thank you gentlemen, as always. But Claire, Claire, this really, this really mm -hmm. is delicious, and it is, is Good. Pretty as Good. well. Very and thank light. You. Very light. Very light. Very light. That means you can eat more of it. Thank you for having me. <laughs> no, we're we're so glad you joined us this morning, Claire. Thank you so much. And we're gonna let everyone know your recipe, Claire's recipe, is on our website at GoodMorningAmerica.com. So make sure you check that out. And a big thank you to the Culinary Institute of Education here in New York City for having us this morning. And tomorrow we have Erin Jean McDowell on with her cookie recipe. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.